These are the rainforests of the ocean, teeming with hundreds of species of dazzling tropical fish and invertebrates. Vibrant coral reefs in Hawaii and Florida are an American treasure. People enjoy coral reefs and their inhabitants in many different ways, such as snorkeling and scuba diving. Millions of people come to Hawaii from all over the world to experience the island chain's hundreds of species of reef fish. In fact, people admire the bright colors, behavior, and the sheer variety of coral reef fish so much that many start saltwater aquariums at home and in offices. In the United States, more than one million people have saltwater aquariums at home. Most of the fish in their tanks were taken from the Pacific Ocean, and particularly from Hawaii. These fish are collected in ways that damage their coral reef homes. In addition, many fish perish before they even make it to aquariums. If they do survive the trip, few thrive in captivity. Only 2% of the fish you see in freshwater aquariums come from the wild. But almost all marine fish, 98%, in American home aquariums are taken from the ocean. And 80% of those fish collected in the United States come from Hawaii's coral reefs. Hawaii's reefs are the most remote on Earth. One quarter of the reef species found in Hawaii, such as the flame angelfish, exists nowhere else on Earth. Once a fish is taken off the reef, it cannot replace itself. The methods that people use to collect fish can badly damage reefs. In Hawaii, for example, collectors drape large gill nets over coral. To scare fish into the nets, they then hit the coral with sticks, destroying the coral. Collectors also often snap off the limbs of branching corals to get at hiding fish. Collectors in other parts of the world, such as the Philippines, use cyanide to catch fish. This not only harms the fish, but destroys coral reefs as well. Many of these fish are shipped to the U.S. and die soon after being taken home from cyanide-damaged livers. Once caught, fish and invertebrates are placed in plastic containers or bags. To unnaturally ease the pressure that builds up inside of fish when they are brought to the surface, collectors pierce the fish's air bladder with a hypodermic needle. Once ashore, fish and invertebrates are placed in holding tanks, where they are then packaged for transport and export. Up to 60% of the tropical fish taken from the wild die en route. Poor handling and the long trips to destinations around the world kill many fish. Some die at each step of the journey, when caught by collectors, when transported from the ocean to holding tanks, when packaged and shipped, and finally while they're in pet stores. The more fish that die, the more are taken off the reefs to replace them. Collectors are raiding Hawaii's reefs. More than 400,000 wild fish are taken from the island's reefs each year. A study by Hawaii marine biologists found that eight of the 10 species most targeted by collectors showed declines in abundance at harvesting sites, compared to places where no collection of fish took place. People who keep saltwater aquariums support an industry that harms Hawaii's coral reefs. Maintaining a saltwater home aquarium for marine fish is extremely difficult. Wild fish have specialized feeding habits, require precise amounts of space, and their relationships with other fish can be delicate. The water they live in needs to be exactly like the ocean. If any one of these aspects isn't just right, the fish won't survive. The trade in marine aquarium species tends to be very selective. Many collectors prefer smaller, juvenile fish because they fit easily into home aquariums, sort of like bringing home a puppy instead of an adult dog. In time, this practice could endanger a species as fewer fish are allowed to mature to reproductive age. Collectors also take fish that will make them the most money, which often are the rarest species. With such a small, fragile population, 
These fish should be left in the wild or else kept only in public aquariums where many people can enjoy them. If you must have a home saltwater aquarium, aquacultured fish are a good alternative. Because these fish are raised in tanks and fed food pellets, they are disease-free and have an easier time surviving in aquariums. Although progress is being made in this field, not many species of saltwater fish have been successfully aquacultured. The ever-popular clownfish is one species that does well in an aquaculture environment. By continuing to explore the ocean's treasures by going to public aquariums instead of owning a home aquarium, you are helping to preserve our rich reefs. Curators at public aquariums have the expertise to take care of the complicated saltwater environment to keep the fish alive. Public aquariums are good educational tools, and many people can enjoy the reef fish, as opposed to only a few. Keep reef fish where they belong, on the reefs. <laughs>